But it wasn't just new notation that was being developed. Indian mathematicians were responsible for making fundamental new discoveries in the theory of trigonometry. The power of trigonometry is that it acts like a dictionary, translating geometry into numbers and back. Although first developed by the ancient Greeks, it was in the hands of the Indian mathematicians that the subject truly flourished. At its heart lies the study of right-angled triangles. In trigonometry, you can use this angle here to find the ratios of the opposite side to the longest side. There's a function called the sine function, which when you input the angle, outputs the ratio. So for example, in this triangle, the angle is about 30 degrees. So the output of the sine function is a ratio of one to two, telling me that this side is half the length of the longest side. The sine function enables you to calculate distances when you're not able to make an accurate measurement. To this day, it's used in architecture and engineering. The Indians used it to survey the land around them, navigate the seas, and ultimately chart the depths of space itself. It was central to the work of observatories like this one in Delhi, where astronomers would study the stars. The Indian astronomers could use trigonometry to work out the relative distance between the Earth and the Moon and the Earth and the Sun. You can only make the calculation when the Moon is half full, because that's when it's directly opposite the Sun. So the Sun, Moon and Earth create a right-angled triangle. Now the Indians could measure that the angle between the sun and the observatory was one-seventh of a degree. The sine function of one-seventh of a degree gives me the ratio of 400 to one. This means the sun is 400 times further from the earth than the moon is. So using trigonometry, the Indian mathematicians could explore the solar system without ever having to leave the surface of the Earth. The ancient Greeks had been the first to explore the sine function, listing precise values for some angles. But they couldn't calculate the signs of every angle. The Indians were to go much further, setting themselves a mammoth task. The search was on to find a way to calculate the sine function of any angle you might be given. <laughs> 